Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunter where we talk about various scripted projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel. And I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So we're looking at Metal Friends. They do have a pre sale that's going to be coming up on pink sale. So we can see that this is going to be the fair launch, you know, page, Seifu, Audit, and KYC. Those are the badges. So as far as the audit's concerned, it did pass with issues, a medium severity issue on centralization. I'll leave you a link in regards to why you should be paying attention you know to centralization centralization and why um you know why they do highlight it you know in terms of audits so um but with that said they are kyc as well kyc is going to be through i believe it was through pink sale if you take a look you know at this yep so pink sale did the kyc on this one so um let's see here we also see this is going to be upcoming and the pre-sale starts in just over a day and 17 hours from now these are the socials and the story of metal friends began more than a year ago metal Friends is an independent brand. It has a multi project ecosystem with a limited NFT collection, token on BSC, staking, and a PTE game. NFTs have 14 days return on investment, staking the 2400% APY. PTE game bed is ready. And I can attest to that, you know, because I did take a look, you know, at the game. Earn passive income, staking is live, you know, from launch, low tax, 0% on the buy side, 6% on the sell side. Based on this information, base dev with solid marketing and some things checked off here. CMC, CG, Avidex, fast tracking, financing. MA, Dex Tools, Crypto.com, Trending, Centralized Exchange Listing, WeChat, Weibo, Ozone, Mark, or QZone Marketing. Okay, so we can also see we've got a uh, soft cap of 50 beans, and we can also see they've got a video here, but you guys know we don't play videos as we explore projects on the channel. We can see the soft cap is highlighted again at 50 beans, you know, here, and the liquidity lockup time is 50, oops, sorry about that, 365 days after the pool ends. These are the token metrics, so they got a sliver of unlocked tokens here, 0.5, you know, but as always, always curious about what's going on with unlocked tokens, so if the team happens to see the video, they can certainly, you know, provide some clarification there. And then we can see they've got their documentation here. Number of things to go ahead and engage with, you know, in regards to this, you know, so we can see they give you um, information in regards to the utilities, you know, in-game currency, reward for NFT staking, staking the uh, MTLS token to yield MTLS's rewards, uh, rewards of community events and games, DAO governance, you know, in the future. So, and then let's see here, tokenomics. So they've got an uh, image here. We can see what's going to what. 5% to marketing, 12% to PDE, 10% to centralized exchange listing, 5% to the team, 20% to staking, 20% to staking. Sorry about that, guys. 18% to liquidity and 30% to the IDO. We can see the total supply here is a billion tokens. So takes care of it on the image here. And uh, so they give you some socials unit here as well. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to the roadmap. So we can see, looking at the roadmap here, the different phases. So they are going into early next year. We can see that they started back here in September 2022. We're going to skip through all this. It's good to see that they've already checked off things they've already completed. But uh, here in November, or actually we're in December, but uh, looking at November here on the roadmap, we can see KYC smart contract audit launch on launch a pre sale marketing campaign. Collaborate with influencers, pre sale on pink sale, and NFT mint starts. So this is where they're at now. Okay, so we are a little bit behind. You know, so looking at December. Listing on Pancake, launching the staking feature, starting main marketing, main marketing campaign, listing on these two platforms, CMC and CoinGecko, and launching Testnet. In January 2023, we see launching game mainnet, huge marketing campaign with PD influencers, launching marketplace and listing centralized exchange. So, but we don't get a tier and we don't know which one they're going after. All right, moving on over to the main page, we can see that their D app here. And then we can see the socials. We can see a link to um, the pre-sale. However, it's not hyperlinked, you know, to pink sale. So we can see about us. Um, they give you the information on their NFT collection, token staking, and the game PDE. All right, join the TGE. They give you a link there. So they give you some highlight or some, a look at their NFTs. Okay, a button here to mint. And then we've already gone over this economics. So again, on the taxes, 0% on the buy side, 6% on the sell side. And then here, information in regards to the token and NFT staking. 
and on the game they give you a video here that you can engage with in a play button so this is how you would go ahead and get access to their beta okay and then on the roadmap you know so we've already taken a look you know at this but the one thing i would say in regards you know to what's different about you know, looking at the roadmap here on the main page versus um sorry about that guys trying to go ahead and stay here with the roadmap but uh the difference between looking at the roadmap here and what they've got you know, here is that they already indicate, you know, some things they've already done, you know, in the documentation version of the roadmap, the white paper version of the roadmap. However, here they don't. So I believe, you know, they need to be consistent, as I've mentioned on the projects. If you're going to be, you know, checking off things you've already done in your white paper, you ought to be doing so here on the main page, because quite frankly, this is where the bulk of your traffic is going to be coming from. You're going to get some people that will take a look, you know, at your white paper, but the bulk is going to be here. So, and this is an opportunity to communicate with people that you, you only get so much time to go ahead and capture somebody's attention. So if you're not utilizing this as an opportunity to communicate what you've already completed, what's in process, what's pending and ongoing, you know, but you're doing it here in your white paper that, you know, maybe 10% of your traffic is going to look at, you are truly missing an opportunity, in my personal opinion, to communicate with people that this might be the first time they've ever visited your website and your project. So that's just my personal opinion there. And it'd be also be good to see, you know, are they going to do a V2 on the roadmap? You know, um, that should be indicated, you know, I think at the end you know, of the roadmap here. And, and even, on, even here, you know, they only go to, you know, phase five, December 2022 you know, right, in regards to this roadmap. They don't even indicate January 2023, and they do indicate that here, you know, in the in the white paper. So, again, consistency matters. So, moving forward, um, this is basically in the end of the website. They give you, you know, some entities um, that they're connected with, you know, so keep in mind some of these are call channels, some of these are individuals, you know, so keep that in mind. All right, um, but with that said, and that's going to do it for me, you know, in regards to Metal Friends. Um, you know, as far as concerns and red flags for me on this one, it's going to come down to the audit issue. Telegram looks a little botted, and there's no, you know, no real substantive dialogue or conversation taking place, you know, considering they've got over 9,000 Telegram members at the time it's got in the project. So, and, uh, you know, keep in mind, they've got the pre-sale that's going to be coming up, going live in just over a day and 17 hours from now, you know, from the time of me recording the video. So that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we don't encourage you to invest in the channel, but we do encourage you to get informed. So make sure that you are taking a look at any other content creators talking about the project. Um, and taking a look at, you know, their documentation because they put together a lot of it. So definitely take a look at that. You know, because obviously all this, all of these things do help you to become more informed as you consider how you want to lean into or potentially participate in a project. So thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for me. You all enjoy the day.